Hey guys, what's going on? This is Sluber Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at my personal editing, streaming, and gaming rig. A lot of thought goes into planning a PC build, and if you're wondering how and where to check out any of these parts in this build, the whole part list is in the description below. Kicking off the build, we've got a powerhouse AMD FX6300 CPU as the heart of this PC. With 6 cores for only $150 and a base clock speed of 3.8GHz with the option to overclock up to 5GHz, this CPU is great for editing, gameplay, and rendering video and is my choice for the most cost-effective, powerful CPU. Cooling this beastly CPU, we've got the Fantex PH-TC120X aftermarket air cooler. Coming with its white and silver colorway, a single tower heatsink with dual fans, and its crisp sleek look, the CPU cooler will allow for a decent overclock without any problems. To power up our graphics, we've got the Asus GTX 960 Turbo Edition. Having the ability of GPU Boost 2.0, along with 2 gigs of GDDR5, a very efficient blower style fan, and the effective NVIDIA GPU Maxwell architecture, this graphics card will offer some great performance without breaking the bank. In terms of memory, we've got 8 gigs of dual channel Corsair Vengeance RAM for a great price of $40. With a speed of 1600 GHz, the option to upgrade in the future, its ability to overclock very well, along with a nice blue color scheme, these RAMs and stick are quite solid. Now when it comes to quick data transfers and fast boot times, the Samsung 840 EVO SSD with 120GB of storage will be above adequate for fast and reliable program launch times and file transfers. Coupled with our SSD, we've got 1TB of a Seagate Barracuda hard drive, dedicated to programs and files that don't need lightning fast speeds to open and use. Holding the parts together is the Asus M5 A97 LER 2.0 motherboard, which supports the whole AMD FX chipset series for future upgrades. With an abundance of USB ports including two USB 3.0 ports, two PCIe Express slots for future SLI or Crossfire support configurations, and two slots to add in your choice of a Wi-Fi network card and a sound card, this motherboard performs great for its price of only $90. Powering the whole system build up, we've got the Corsair CX500M power supply. Being a semi-modular power supply allows us to have some clean cable management. Also with more than enough watts of power, gives us the ability to upgrade with more power hungry parts in the future. Not forgetting to mention that this power supply is also very reliable. Housing all the parts together is the BitPhoenix Comrade mid ATX tower case. With lots of space behind the back panel and lots of loopholes, allows for some pretty neat cable management. With options up to three 120mm fans and a see-through front panel to show off the build, the Comrade looks great for an awesome price. All these parts look great on paper, but now let's take a look at some of the in-game performance this PC has to offer. Hopping into the famous GTA 5, we have a consistent frame rate around 50 FPS. Taking the turn to the popular League of Legends, we have a nice boost of around 130 frames per second on max settings. Jumping into Battlefield 4, we are presented with a completely playable 60 frames per second. At the end of the day, this editing and gaming rig is quite powerful and performs extremely well without costing a fortune. For editing, gaming, and streaming media, this PC cannot go wrong. Once again, the entire part list for this build and pricing are all down in the description below. Anyways, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed watching and maybe want to see another PC build guide in the future, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comment section below as it's my first PC build video. Other than that, if you guys want to see similar tech videos like this, make sure you subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll be back in the next one. Peace.